Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. And I'm going to show you how to do a fluid art with a stamper. I've got a little mat here. You can use a margarine dish or whatever. Here are the polishes I used. They're all from Brave Steel Nail Polish. And I'm just going to start with a little, um, some little rings I'm going to paint on my mat. And like I said, you can use any kind of plastic lid that um, polish will peel off of, like um, a margarine lid, yogurt lid. And you can use any colors you want to. Um, I just try to alternate some white with the colors. Um, that seems to bring the cells out a little bit better. And um, today, of course, we're going to do a 4th of July design. And I'm going to be using spray silicone. And it's also WD-40. And you can get it anywhere. And you're just going to put a little spritz on it and take a stamper and just kind of smush it down and pull it up. You can smush it a couple of times if you'd like, but you can see the cell spreading and it looks super cute. Okay. So you saw how I did it with the um, silicone spray on the mat and then I just dabbed it and here are a couple of other ones that I did and now let's stick them on some nails. These two I don't have a base coat on, these two I have white on. This hand I am testing the Born Pretty Fiber Gel on my right hand and I used some to fix my sister-in-law's nail yesterday. She broke it way down and was bleeding and it was a mess. Anyway, there that is. It is You Are Sugar. It came from Born Pretty. So the polishes I used are um, All Braves Steven Nail Polish, Yaku, Yaku, it's Japanese for baseball. I can't pronounce it. Don't ask me to, I'm not going to. <laughs> per se CL, and then shut out. And I am going to top it with Yoshi, I can pronounce that, and it's Japanese for stars, and it's a hollow topper. I'm just gonna take my little tool here. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. To use a pair of tweezers and just start it. Um, you can run orange wood stick or toothpick or um, just be gentle with it. Now this has been over 24 hours since I did these and then I put a coat of Wet n Wild Nail Protector, just clear protector, it, not a quick rut quick dry once again I've told you guys before and if you didn't listen that's your own fault <laughs> not to use quick dry when you're doing decals um, so I think I can get you know two nails out of this but I'm not sure how I want to do it I think I'm just gonna cut it down the middle okay go for it. Alright, so if you're going to put these on your toes, and um, I've got a friend that from high school that asked me about these, and I've actually made her a few, and I'm going to send them to her. Um, so this is what you're going to do for your toe. You would cut it in half, and then place the straight edge at the top of your toenail, and this, you know, at the curve of your toenail, so that, you know, you can kind of shape it. Alright, but I'm going to put this on my finger now. I think about like that. First, I'm going to take, and you can use any base coat or even this quick or this nail protector. And I'm going to um, put this directly on my nail just a thin coat and make sure I've got all the edges covered 
I don't know, I kind of really like that one too. That one's really cool. Hmm. Oh, the dilemma. Actually, I think I'm going to do this on my left hand. <laughs> I'm just going to stick that on there. Take my cleanup brush and I've got some acetone and I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and dab it off on a lint free and just go in around it and seal it down to my nail make sure that all the edges are sealed and it'll creep up underneath there just a little bit and it was pointed out to me on Instagram and I think I made it clear on the YouTube video when I did the water slides. Um, tiny, tiny bit of acetone with the water slides because it will dissolve them and creep up on it and you know dissolve your design. But if you're careful and you just use a tiny bit, now you can top coat this first if you'd like. I don't like to because then I usually have um, the quick dry makes it like curl up on the edges and I don't know I don't have very good luck with it that way just because it's me I think anyway so we're going to do that all the way around the tip and the edge just so it sticks down and ah, that is so cute so all those that are water marble challenged you can absolutely do it this way. You don't have to do the fluid art and spray it with, um, some people have the top coat, the transforming top coat. I don't like it because I don't, I don't like being limited to just those colors and having to buy more. And you're just putting a tiny, tiny, tiny spritz of it. All right, here's what's left on my stamper. So, ooh, the other side doesn't look too bad either, but we're gonna do this. What do you think? And some of you ask how long these decals can last. I have had them sitting on my desk in the corner on a stamper head for over a year or on a little mat for over a year, hit it with some top coat and freshen it up so it's not crunchy, let it dry a little, peel it off and use it. This has been sitting here for over a week. This like sunflower I did I can still use that. I can put it in a plastic baggie and keep it for as long as I want to. This one's been sitting here for a while. I don't know if I'll wear it or use it or I don't know. I might put it on my toes. It's kind of cool. And July 4th is my mom's or was my mom's birthday. So, these are for you, Mom. Um, also, I forgot to tell you, so if you are just a little bit off on your edge and, you know, your base is wet and you've put, you know, whatever, a base coat on, you and these will actually stretch a little bit. So, you can, like, pull on it and pull it over because I place that just a little bit too far away from that edge and I'm just kind of stretching and sliding it over. I mean this is polished so it will kind of stretch a little bit. And I did exactly what I told you not to do. 
and um, I used too much acetone and flooded my cuticle. It's lovely, isn't it? Blue is like one of the worst things you can flood <laughs> into your cuticle. Alright, I am going to put some um, smudge free top coat on these before I put the hollow. So you're going to seal it down with some top coat. Quick dry would be best and be careful not to smear. So just pull it over the image with a really thick glob. Um, just guide the polish over. Don't go crazy and just wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe because you will smear it. Oh, this is such a pretty top coat. I have burnt myself here, here, that's nasty and peeling off. Um, a big old spot on my ankle, down my leg, down my shin, on my elbow out grilling the other day and put some food on a bunch of hot coconut oil and olive oil and it splattered all over me off the grill. Boo hoo guyly. Ooh, that kind of looks like a galaxy, doesn't it? Alright, which one do you like better? I don't know which ones. I like them all. I think they turned out really super cute. And I don't know, just a another technique maybe you guys want might want to try or just wanted to watch. It was fun to do. Um, do I need to tell you anything? Mm, probably not. Happy Fourth. Be safe, you guys. Bye. <laughs> my turn. My turn. She gonna get stuck. Get off my slide. <laughs> do, it, do it this way. You gotta come up this way. Come up this way, then you go whoop. Whee! My turn. My turn. No. I'm trying to bite her. Here's Baz the dog. <laughs> He's just smiling. The waterfall there. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo.